Okay, hi. So today I am collaborating with this super artistic makeup brand. They're called ZC. This video is sponsored, I'm working with them, just so we're all clear. Um, this is the look that I created. Every, the quality, the products, the quality of the products literally brought back my artistic inspiration, which I think is clear in this makeup look that I created. <laughs> now, what piqued my interest with this brand is that they collaborated with the British Museum uh, on multiple collections, uh, including the Egypt eyeshadow palettes, which are absolutely stunning, the Alice in Wonderland palettes, which are the majority of what I used on my eyes today, including some liners, obviously, and then the Palace Identity collection, which includes these unbelievable lipsticks. We'll talk about it, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, let's jump into the tutorial so you can see how I did this, because it's so much fun. Uh, and then we will talk about the products. Um, okay, so obviously I'm gonna start off with the eyes because uh, I'm super excited about using all of these products, but um, I don't know if you guys noticed or if I said this at the beginning of the video, I can't really tell if you can tell on camera, but I dyed my hair mint. So that's sort of informing a lot of my uh, color choices as well. But I've been kind of inspired by FKA Twigs makeup recently, like super colorful and kind of like graphic liners. Um, and because of these like colors and the eyeliners, that's kind of the direction I wanna go. I think I'm gonna be going between the uh, Fireworks palette, that aqua obviously is really speaking to me. And then Dreamland eyeshadow palette in number two, because again, like I played around with these a little bit and the colors are just like giving me vibes. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Fireworks palette and I'm gonna grab this orange shade right here and I'm using a smaller brush. I'm gonna um, focus this like a way above my crease. If you guys watched my live stream, unlike that, I'm gonna do my my favorite like swooping like that. So I'm gonna kind of like do this and then out to here, okay? The softness and blendability of these shadows is my probably my favorite part. So I'm just gonna slowly build that up, kind of following that shape. It's nice because like the um they're pigmented, but they're not like it doesn't go on too too much, like there's a lot of blendability. Remember looking down into a mirror is really gonna help with this kind of thing. Now, I'm gonna use like a little pencil brush and I'm gonna grab the red from the Dreamland eyeshadow palette, this guy right here. Add a little depth to that orange. It's not really a cut crease because I kinda wanna keep it softer, but I wanna create a little bit more of a line. Nothing makes me happier than a red eyeshadow, I gotta say. Um, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna grab that orange again and just go over that a little bit to do some more blending so it's a little more um, soft. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of grabbing that orange, I'm gonna grab this color right here, uh, which is kind of like a pale peach. Kind of go over the top of that just to soften it up to the brow bone, basically. I'm having such a hard time deciding like which colors I want to use because there's so many that I love. I got to, I got to incorporate some teal. So I think I'm going to grab this one. So kind of like where I would place a wing and then blending. I'm not going to blend into that red because I don't want to mix them. I'm kind of just taking it like just underneath that red. So you can kind of see that separation. And then just kind of blending a little bit onto the lid. These eyeshadows have everything in common with like the formula that I've been obsessed with recently where they have really beautiful color payoff, but they're incredibly soft and incredibly blendable. Um, okay, I'm gonna take that same color and I'm gonna place it in the very inner part of my lid. So just on the inner part of the lid and just going to blend it once again underneath that red. So I'm not blending because we don't want it to get muddy with the colors. Just underneath. I'm gonna fill in that gap with a liner. Just gonna kind of slowly blend it onto the lid a little bit so that when I put my lid color down, I have something to ground it because I don't wanna have like disconnection, you know? Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm gonna grab that teal and I'm gonna drag it on the lower part. So kind of connecting it up with that um, outer V and then 
keeping it like tighter at the outer corner and then I'm going to kind of blend it downward sort of rounding like this part out but only taking that color like halfway I'm dipping into the off with their heads <laughs> pal look at that so pretty um, and I'm going to grab this yellow I'm going to place that on the lower part of the uh, inner lower part of the inner part right there just tapping over that blue I'm just gonna grab one of the brushes that come with the uh, dreamland eyeshadow palettes they come with like little um, dual ended brushes I'm just gonna take the um, this end and just do a little blending around the edge the lower lash line actually fits perfectly in there Okay, for the center of the, I'm gonna go back up to the center of the lid before I do liners. I'm gonna go in with uh, the liquid eyeshadow. This is number four. It's this really beautiful, like, kind of duo chromey gold. Place this in the center of that. Getting artistic now. Yep, just like that. And I, I like it to look a little um, disconnected. You know, not like not fully blended, but you can see how um, pigmented and like, uh, I was gonna say crimson, um, like molten this product looks. And you can layer it up. It doesn't get like too heavy, which is really nice. Now I'm gonna go in with the Colorful Waterproof Tip Liquid Eyeliner. I think this is Sunset Orange. And okay, I need serious concentration now. And I'm gonna line, okay, I gotta explain and then I gotta do it. So I'm gonna line all of this. I'm gonna go basically like the reason that I didn't connect the orange and the blue is number one, I didn't want the colors to mix and get muddy, but I wanted to like separate them using a liner. So I'm gonna be using the sunset orange one. Um, and I can't talk to you while I do this. <laughs> Ooh, look at how skinny that line is. Oh my god, that was like, if I couldn't have imagined it being more easy. <laughs> All right, ready? Got to match them. Whew, beautiful. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with that. Okay, bring this in a little bit more. The detail on these liners is insane. Like absolute perfection that was like could not have been more easy I love the way it looks all right so now for against my lash line I want to use the fairy deer liquid eyeliner like a regular winged liner basically I just love how precise these liners are like they're insanely precise and it's so nice because you it gives you so much more control um okay so now I'm going to go back in with the colorful waterproof liner. This is in pearly white, I think, pearl white. And I'm gonna place this on the inner part of my lower lash line. <sighs> There's nothing more nerve wracking than like trying to get liner <laughs> even. I'm gonna take that same white and I'm gonna line the outer part of the orange liner. Just right there, just for a little balance. Oh, that's why I got swoopy. Isn't that cute? <laughs> I'm having so much fun. Okay, um, all right, let's zoom out and do blush and highlight before I finish off the rest of the eyes. So I'm going to use the powder blush in number two, kind of like pat out here. I don't know, I've been doing it a little bit differently. And then start bringing it into the rest, like the inner part of my cheek, like that. I think I've been a little too obsessed with blush recently. All right, now I'm super excited about this highlight. So I'm gonna use the highlighting powder in S02. Look at this. I only swatched it because I obviously like, look at that print, <laughs> I didn't wanna ruin it. it up onto the temples look at that sheen mm. just above my temple so I'm kind of placing it over where I placed my my blush 
and then slowly blending it up onto the cheekbone. Since it's um, like a little bit more of a rosy shade, it's gonna make like a really beautiful blush topper. So for my lower lash line, I'm gonna use their Living Colorfully Mascara. This is in the shade Rust Red. I'm so excited. It's really gonna make that teal pop. So for my top lashes, uh, first I'm gonna go in with the Living Colorfully Mascara. This is the black one. You know what else is really nice? You know how you have to wait for like a mascara to get to the sweet spot? This mascara is already at that sweet spot. <laughs> I'm sorry, is this not the most fun look you've ever seen in your entire life? Okay, so I just added a couple of, a couple of, duh. Uh, I added some falsies just for like a little extra volume because now I'm gonna go in with the Living Colorfully uh, Mascara. This is in Golden Sunshine, so check this out. It's literally a little disco ball. Isn't that pretty? So now I'm gonna place this on my upper lashes because we're having fun here. We're just gonna do glitter throughout. So I'm gonna focus it on like the outer basically the outer half, like the tip of the lashes. And I'm gonna pop it on the top too, so that like you can see all the sparkle when I blink. Lips, and I like feel so guilty doing this because it's so stunning, I don't wanna ruin it. So this is the Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipstick in 05 in the shade Princess, which I just kind of feel like is gonna look the best with like the eye color that we got going on right now. I need to show you this cause I know I'm gonna be talking about it later once I have all my makeup done, but I need to show you this bullet before I put it on my lips. Look at it. Like the detail is insane. It's so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna line my lips real quick with a slightly darker color. And just go over that lip liner. All right guys, so this is the finished look. What do we think? I'm so obsessed with it. <laughs> it's like the best thing when you use products that like inspire you, you know? So I had never heard of this brand before, which was blew my mind because when they reached out, I checked out their website and the pack, like literally just the packaging alone, I was like, what? <laughs> How have I never heard of this? Okay, so the first collection that really like grabbed my eye was their co collaboration with the British Museum on the um, Egypt eyeshadow palettes. And that those were the first ones that I saw and the packaging was just absolutely stunning. And I was like, what? Like a collaboration with the B British Museum? Um, so I was already really interested in the artistry of the brand. So what's really cool is that the uh, Egypt eyeshadow palettes are inspired by different elements from the Egypt collection in the British Museum. Love it. I use today the Maya eyeshadow palette, which is this one right here. Look at this. Is this the most beautiful packaging that you've ever seen? It's super weighted. We've got matte, we've got pressed glitters, uh, like a sort of matte shadow with shimmer inside of it. We've got some shimmer shadows, some foiled shadows. So you have a bunch of different formulas that are all like super blendable. And then another collaboration that they did with the British Museum were the Alice in Wonderland palettes. Yeah, Dreamland eyeshadow palettes. Okay, so this is the these are the boxes that they came in, which like on their own, just absolutely stunning, right? Really beautiful quality. And then these are the palettes. It's so, it's super heavy, beautiful. Once again, a bunch of different formulas, beautiful colors. You have this, which I was waiting to mess up <laughs> so that I could show you because I wanted you to see the patterns first, but you blend it out and then it turns into like this real beautiful shimmery pink. Look at that, stunning. And then they have these two colorful mascaras from the Alice collection. So we have a dirty pink and then Aurora shimmer and all of their mascara formulas are super long lasting. So this is dirty pink and then this is um, Aurora the shimmer mascara. All right, and then they have um, these liquid liners, the colorful waterproof tip liquid liners, which are the most precise, I mean, I don't know if you can tell considering like what I did on my eyes today, but they're like the most precise uh, wa liners that I've used. So they have holographic packaging. So we have pearl white. I just wanted to show you like, you could get kind of thick, but you can also get really, really skinny. Pearl white, 
uh, sweet pink sunset orange. I used sunset orange in the pearl white uh, and vintage khaki. So this is smoke gray. I'm missing the per this is smoke gray. I'm missing the purple one. Try to mess them up and you can't. Spray them a lot and they're not going anywhere. <laughs> Super long lasting, which is really nice. Um, and then I also used the Fairy Deer liquid eyeliner pencil. So once again, it's just as like super tiny and precise. You can see how small the bristles are. Um, and then this is part of the Palace Identity collection, was, which was inspired by ancient Chinese culture. You guys, look at these lipsticks. <laughs> this I cannot get over. Look at this. Is this the most beautiful thing you've ever seen in your entire life? They're so heavy, like so luxe. It's got magnetic closure and opening, you know? When you open it up, look at it. It's got that print. Like it's absolutely stunning. And then um, this is the color that I used today, but look at this. Look at it. Is that so beautiful? A work of art, an absolute work of art. All right guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Highly recommend these products. The quality is insane and the creativity, the artistry. If you're looking for something that's like super artistic, but still like beginner friendly, which these products absolutely are, the liners are incredibly easy to use. Uh, the eyeshadows are blendable, but still vibrant and fun. Um, if you're like me and you just greatly appreciate like quality packaging and products, I highly recommend you check this out. Uh, everything will be linked down below, um, including all of the products that I used today. Um, and if you tried them, please let me know because I feel like I haven't heard many people talk about them and they're like so incredible. I feel like more people would have tried them. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.